In the next month, the public could get their first look at the investigative files into the abduction of Jacob Wetterling. The file reportedly includes tens of thousands of documents relating to the 1989 abduction and murder of the then 11-year-old boy. Mary McGuire is tracking the story for us this morning. And Mary, the cost of preparing all of these documents is not cheap. Yeah, it's very expensive. Officials in Stearns County have been working on this file for months now and estimate the total cost of preparing the case files to be at $200,000. Now that price tag includes all of the personnel hours for multiple people to work on those documents. According to the St. Cloud Times, anywhere from 5 to 13 people have been working on the investigative file since last October. That file is said to include more than 80,000 lead sheets with tips from the public alone. Work on the investigative file began after Wetterling's killer decided to cooperate with authorities as a part of a plea bargain and led investigators to a burial site. The file is said to also include thousands of pages of statements. That means we could get to read what Wetterling's killer told investigators back when we, he was first interviewed as a person of interest in this case in 1989. Kylie, I'm sure, or Kylie, sorry, Mary, I'm sure a lot of people are anxious to see these. Do we know the exact date of when the files will be released? Well, that's hard to pin down the exact date just because the file is so massive and includes so many documents. Staff in Stearns County is beginning the process of redacting just the audio and video files today and should have it ready to release in the next month or two. Of course, we will report on that because a lot of questions uh, have been raised over the past uh, decades, really, over uh, how this case was investigated. Mary McGuire, thank you.